Hey, this is Arnav. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the interesting Zerox project. So Zerox is a decentralized exchange protocol built on top of Ethereum and it allows you to create your own decentralized exchange on top of it. In this video, we'll specifically talk about how does the project work and we'll go down through its architecture and try to understand the role of various players in its ecosystem. If you want to have an in-depth analysis of the project, you should check out the article which I have linked down in the description below. So now let's talk about the Zerox architecture. So Zerox at its core is a protocol that is its public infrastructure and anyone can create a for-profit business on top of it. The team specifically made a decision to avoid building a walled garden as done by most models in the space. So what allows the team to actually survive and build out a proper business and build a proper team? So this is where the ICM model comes in. The ICM model has facilitated the team to do so by providing them money to survive, build a team and financially benefit them if their project succeeds and the price of the token rises. So what happens is like the team has certain amount of token reserved for operations and for themselves. So whenever say the team wants to hire new people or they want to like uh, do some partnerships, they can sell the liquidate the tokens for operations and get the money and that is how they are able to build the business out and how they benefit financially is that if say the project is gaining more adoption then the price of the token would obviously increase and since the team has some amount of token for themselves the value of their tokens would also increase and their net worth would also increase so this is what the ic model has facilitated it has it has allowed to build a public goods project a project that allows others to build their own business on top of it without making any money. Now moving on to the next part of the video, we need to understand that at its core 0x is a message format. Each order is a data packet containing order parameters and an associated signature. Order parameters are concatenated and hashed to 32 bytes via the KCAC SHA3 function. The order originator signs the order hash with their private key to produce an ECD as a signature. These are some examples of order parameters. And when the order originator signs, he is usually specifying parameters like the tokens he is exchanging, the exchange rate, the expiration time, and the maker and the taker fee, that is the total units of 0x token paid to fee recipient, which is usually the relayer who has built his own decentralized exchange on top of 0x by maker and taker respectively. So these are some parameters that he actually specifies and you can definitely check that out on the article below. Now let's talk about the architecture components of 0x. We'll do that by going through this image which I had made on my article and try to understand what is the role of each and every player in the ecosystem. For the trade part, we have three players. We have the relayer, the maker and the taker. So this is the relayer, this is the maker and this is the third taker. The relayer builds a UI in the form of an app or website and maintains an off-chain order book. Let's assume the relayer has a website similar to Radar Relay. So assume this is the relayer, this is Radar Relay, which is my favorite relayer and one of the most widely used relayers built on top of 0x. The Radar Relay maintains the off-chain order book. So this is the order book. These are the buy and sell orders and you can buy and sell using radar relay. So this is part one. Now what happens is we have an order maker who starts the whole process. An order maker codes his trading process, price, and other parameters of the message format. He signs the message thereby pushing the order on the website. So say I want to buy some tokens or I want to sell some tokens in exchange for some other tokens and I initiate the trade. So I am the order maker here and what happens is when I initiate the trade, I click on say buy or sell or whatever I want to do and I sign a message and I sign the message using some using the various parameters like I mention all the parameters like the expiration time, what is the fee I am willing to pay and all these things and that order then goes to the order book. So this goes to the off chain order book. Next, next up what happens is that an order taker sees the maker's order on the website 
and submits a buy order. By doing so, he is submitting a transaction to the blockchain via the trade settlement contract and he needs to pay a gas fee and taker fees which goes to the relayer. So this is what happens for the taker. Now say if I see a good order here, I find an order which is a really a bargain at the price that it is on the 0x relayer and I'll click on the order and I would pay the amount of ether or any other token they are they want me to pay and I'm submitting that order to the blockchain via the straight settlement smart contract. So I am the order taker here. So that is the role of the order taker. He discovers the order through the rail layer and submits the make a sign data and intend to trade to the trade settlement smart contract. This is how the whole trade works out. And the trade settlement smart contract processes the data sent to it by the taker and accordingly settles the trade on the blockchain. So the trade settlement contract, it sees the data that it is it has been provided by the taker and accordingly settles the trade on the blockchain. And we even have the governance smart contract, which is used for upgrading trade settlement contract as new token standards emerge. So this is all regarding the architecture. And one more point is that the 0x token is a, a governance token and people who have the 0x token can vote for what should go in the trade settlement contract through the governance smart contract. And it is actually used to pay the uh, relayer as well, but it it is marketed as a governance token. So this is all regarding the 0x architecture. Hope you learned something. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for future videos in Bitcoin, blockchain, cryptocurrencies and project analysis. Okay, bye bye.